Well, hey everyone. I wanted to show you what I'm up to today. I'm making a uh, waste oil heater to burn used motor oil. So this is part of our, uh, and I, I just looked up a bunch of stuff on YouTube. So what I've got here is an old uh, uh, brake disc off of a car. That's a five inch piece of semi truck exhaust. And I drilled the holes two inches on center and then uh, alternated one, three, five, seven, nine, two, four, six, eight. And it actually, the pattern came out just right. I just thought, given basically, is that flame's coming out, it's still, I think it's feeding off these air holes. This is just the way I've seen them built. And I did, you can see the paint's burned off of it a little. I made one test run. This would be a, a drip feed system. So here's the hole where the oil will drip into it. And then I put, it seemed like it was a little starved for air. So the only place this can get air is, this is a vented disc through the, through the two discs right here. It can pull air through and then air through here. I just kind of test, I put my hand over it and you could, or a glove or something, you could really tell a difference. So I put three more holes. I don't know if you can see down in there. Yeah, I just welded right on top of the disc. I made another one of these with a lot smaller pipe and it didn't want to burn very well, so that's why I put this big pipe. What I'm going to use for my burn chamber is a uh, stainless steel dog food pan. And what the, what the goal here is, is to actually get this, it's real thin, it's stainless steel. And that's what, like I say, I've watched people do this and this is what they've done. So, uh, get this hot enough where actually when oil hits it, it'll vaporize and burn. And I tried it out, it didn't have it really hot. And I could I could drip oil on top of that brake disc and it would just ignite. So that's the goal and I don't think I had enough air to it before and I didn't have my drip feed set up. So I'll show you, show you a little bit more about this. Okay, uh, here you go. It's an old air compressor tank that I just cut a door in the front of it and that right there, I welded this piece of angle, that's what's going to hold my steel pipe going down in there for my drip feed, and I cut a hole in the top of it and put another, the rest of this 5 inch exhaust flue pipe on top of it. Maybe you can, maybe you can see what I've done here. Um, I welded this big steel plate in here, this is just scrap, but the the whole the pipe will fit right up in in that once the once it's setting on the pan so the only air that it can draw is through that and that's what you kind of want the the rocket type sucking air real fast through it and uh, I don't know other people have perfected this so let's uh oh and my drip feed is that right there and I'll show you once I get it going it's an old uh uh, helium tank that the kids had so I've just got it. It's already got a needle valve on the bottom of it So I've got some flexible line There's goes Who's this? You caught me talking to myself huh? you Caught me talking to myself So anyway, so that's what I'm gonna use for my oil feed. It's just gonna gravity feed into this Okay, I've got it lit, and uh, here's my, this is going to be my feed tube that will actually drip the oil down in there. That's the hole that will fall in, and you can see there, there's a couple more holes. There's the two extra, and then there's one in the back I drilled. So it actually does seem to be, here's what you can kind of see, and when it gets going, it'll, it'll really fill that pipe up. So this is a test run. As this thing heats up, it'll it'll start burning better and better. Uh, this is how I'm gonna simulate. Just gonna put a little dump it in there, and maybe you can see it come out. Well, that's too much, but you know, probably want like a little thin stream like that.
Okay, now you can see it's starting to roar a little more. And I've probably got way too much oil in it. I'll show you. So it is smoking just a little bit. Like I say, there's way too, there's more oil than it can burn right now. So once I get my drip feed set up right, it'll. And it's really starting to put some heat out now. Once all that gets hot, then this thing really starts burning good. And, and I think the extra holes I put in it helped. I'll kind of show you the difference, what it sounds like just covering up one of these air holes. Hear the difference. All right, there you go. I just gave it a pretty good, pretty good swig. So it almost kind of puts it out a little bit. For if you give it too much, that's why a nice, even, just a fast drip or a nice uh, light stream would probably be the best, and it would work really good. Yeah, this thing. Now that it's starting to burn off what I put in it, it's really going now. That's what it needs. And you can see, well, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's burned. It's still burning, but you can see it's burned off almost all the paint on that tank on, on the outside of it. Pretty much all of it. But I think if I get my, when I get my drip feed, you can see how high the flame is getting right there to the top. And it's smoking quite a bit I don't know what the deal is with that but I think if I just gave it just enough to burn just enough where it would right when it touched it would vaporize I think it would burn pretty clean yeah you can definitely see that pipe just turning cherry red there's a lot of heat coming out of that that's about as far as I can get my hand from it and it's just burning off I'm not even putting any oil in it's just burning off what I uh, what I put in it but you can tell it burns a lot hotter when it just has a little bit to burn yeah oh yeah paints burning more off the tank there you can see some of the paint coming off the tank and I can see that I can see that pipe right there starting to glow red So yeah, I didn't have, uh, the only thing I actually bought was that, uh, that tubing right there. That was like five bucks. The rest of the stuff I just had already. I had this old tank, had a few of them, and then I just, some scrap steel, I made a base for it. And cut this door. I'm going to put the door back. I'm going to make some hinges for it. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess I don't have to, but I'm going to. And then put it in the shop there and hook this pipe up to the chimney. And I just wanted to burn it real hot out here to burn most of this paint off of it. But for my little shop, I think that'll be just just perfect. I don't have a heat gun or anything, but yeah, if you got an old tank and um, and like I say, that's five inch pipe. And I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but put a put a few holes around your brake disc five inch pipe I don't know how tall it was I just made it where it's just inside that plate that's welded inside this it's sticking through there so say this is the only it's got to feed air through that and rush up and then your drip feed system is drilled a hole in the side of the tank ran this piece of copper and eventually I'll hook I'll have that hooked up to it where it's just dripping it in there I just wanted to see it go out. I think it's starting. I think maybe it's starting to burn out a little bit. I want to see how red it look once it goes out.
Oh, there it's going out. There you go.